Do you ever get stuck because you want everything to be perfect before you actually do it? Well, if that's you, stick around because we're going to fix that in this episode. Well, hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Amazing Seller Podcast. This is episode number 769 and session number 239 of Ask Scott. This is where I answer your questions here on the podcast, and I'm going to do it again here today. And yes, you heard it in the beginning. We are going to be talking about how do I get over procrastination or also perfectionism. And there is a real thing happening out there. And I don't know if you've ever fallen into that trap. I have where you're like, you know what? It's not quite right yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to polish it. I'm going to tweak it. And you never get it out there. You never complete the project. Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you how you're going to be able to get through that right now. All right. Cause we're heading into 2020. I can't believe it. Depending on when you're listening to this, that is, uh, this is airing on December 27th, 2019. And oh, by the way, if you missed the last episode, which would have fallen on Christmas day, uh, I actually did an interview with my daughter and we talked all about how to create a rich life and how to really, really de-stress your life. And this is coming from a 12 year old and uh, she taught me a thing or two. And there's this thing called Huga. And uh, well, you got to listen to that episode in order to understand it. I didn't know about this until she brought it up to me. Actually, my other daughter brought it to her, my older daughter, my uh, 24 year old daughter brought it to her. And then she started to get really like obsessed with it. And then uh, she got a book for her birthday all about it. Someone wrote a book and we ended up doing a podcast episode. I thought it would be fun to bring her on and really let a 12 year old teach us as entrepreneurs how to slow down a little bit, how to enjoy the moment, how to have a true rich life. And we always talk about rich as in money. And yes, that's one aspect of it because it allows us to do certain things or spend more time with our family, but also what is a rich life? And uh, it was pretty awesome to be able to hang out with her and just kind of talk about this and have her teach me more and bring that to you. And hopefully you've got some value out of that. And uh, you're going to start thinking about that, that uh, huga. All right, so definitely, definitely go check out that episode. That was episode 768, so do that, all right? And uh, again, like like I said, we're heading into 2020, which is just absolutely crazy. Also, I wanna remind you, a couple reminders. One, if you want to ask a question, you can still always head over to theamazingseller.com forward slash ask, and you can do it right there. And like I said before, I look at this as a chance for you and I to be able to sit down and have our weekly uh, our weekly conversation together and answer some questions and have you sit in and uh, and really just for us to come together. So I really really do enjoy doing these, and I do not uh, I do not plan to stop doing these. So definitely keep the questions coming. All right. Now the other reminder is again, depending on when you're listening to this, because we are heading into the new year, but you might be listening to this in July of 2020. Who knows? But here's the deal. Right now, we are getting ready to open the doors to Brand Creators Academy, and that is going to be opening, the enrollment that is, on January 6th, and we do open it only a few times per year, and the reason why is because we want to focus most of our energy inside of our academy, and this way here, the efforts we do for promoting it, they don't have to be happening all throughout the year. We're just going to be promoting Brand Creators Academy a few times per year and then really, really taking our time and focusing on uh, our brand creators inside of the academy. So if you're at all interested, number one, go through the free training first. Always, always go through the free training first because we want to make sure that you've went through and, and really validated your market and you really understand the entire strategy and the concept. So go to brandcreators.com. And that'll get you the free resources. Also, it will put you on the early notification list. So this way here, we'll let you know. And if you're interested, cool. If not, no big deal. All right. So again, that's brandcreators.com. So definitely go check out that and go through those free resources. All right. So let's get to it. So the question here today actually came from inside of our Brand Creators Academy. And what we did was we said to our brand creators, we said, hey, do me a favor, 
let us know, okay, where you were struggling before you came into Brand Creators Academy. And then from there, what are things that happened inside of here that helped you, okay? And one of the biggest things that everyone was saying was perfectionism, perfectionism. And it's actually, it's kind of like a disease because once you get in this mindset that you cannot push something out, you cannot release something because again, everyone in the world is going to see it, right? If you do a blog post, you have no traffic on the blog yet, but you post the blog post and everyone's going to see it because now it's live and everyone can see it. But really in the beginning, not a lot of people are going to see it. So does it really matter, right? And you can always go back and tweak it. But we still struggle with this. And that's where the procrastination comes in. Because now it's like, well, I'm going to do it. I'm I'm doing this. But, you know, it's not quite right yet. So I'm going to push it a week. And then we'll publish it then. And then you find out that maybe something in it you're not 100% happy with. So it gives you another reason, another excuse, another reason to procrastinate. Because it's not perfect. And then you keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Well, actually, Lonnie shared inside of our group, which she is amazing, by the way. But she actually recorded a video inside of Brand Creators Academy sharing exactly what she struggles with or struggled with, I should say. Because before she joined, she wanted to create her website. We're talking eight months ago. Okay, eight months ago, and she just kept putting it off or coming up with excuses. She got in Brand Creators Academy. She started asking questions about what she needed to do, got the answers, and now it's like, all right, what's what's the problem? Why aren't you posting, (laughs) right? There's the accountability aspect, and she said once she got in, she felt the accountability, and she felt the support, and she felt the push. Sometimes we need a little push. All right. So whether you're in our academy or not, get a group of people that are going to hold you accountable and push you. Okay. We need to be pushed. Okay. And in a good way, in a good loving way, right? Because if we don't actually do something, we can't get the result. We have no chance of getting the result. Right. And so she has been putting this off and putting it off and putting it off for eight months. Joins literally within less than four weeks. Boom, she's got a live website post, you know, she's got a blog post, right? But it, it eight months before that, she kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because she thought it had to be perfect. And then we started showing behind the scenes of what we're doing as like a brand new uh, website. And she's seen, oh my gosh, like this isn't perfect. Like theirs isn't pretty, like their content's okay. Mine's is good, right? So start seeing that and be like, well, maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just publish and stop making excuses because that's all we're doing. Think about it. I guarantee if you look back at all the excuses of why you didn't do something, it's probably because you just want to put it off because you're afraid of putting it out there. You put it out there and what if it doesn't work? What's it going to look like if it doesn't work? You're going to look bad, right? No, you're not going to look bad just to yourself, but you, you don't have to feel that way. You should feel proud of yourself for actually accomplishing something. And I can't tell you how many people inside of Brand Creators Academy, all they keep saying is, man, this accountability piece has been a game changer. Just being able to push myself to get on camera. I can't tell you how many people said they were deathly afraid of getting on camera. There's actually one right now I can think off the top of my head, Karen, who she was deathly afraid. And then one other person posted a video and she's like, oh my gosh, now I feel like I have to do it. But in a good way, like she started laughing and she had all these emojis. Like she's like, you know, smiley face and, you know, laughing and all of these things. And she's like, I'm going to do it. And guess what? She did it. And I watched it and I was like, what was the problem? Like, why were you waiting so long? Like you looked great on video. You talked well on video in some cases better than I do. Right. I've always, always said to myself, like, if I just listened to that inner voice and didn't do it, you guys wouldn't be listening to this podcast. Like you would not be listening to this. All right. So just understand that we all struggle with this, but a lot of times the perfectionism thing is really also a procrastination thing. All right, so what we need to do is we need to just commit to it. All right, we need to say, you know what, we're going to do it, right? And there's something that is kind of thrown around in the online space, and it's called the MVP. 
not most valuable player. It's minimal viable product. That means just get it out there and tweak it later. We've talked about this with physical products. Launch something that's good, but make it better. Let the let the people tell you what they want or what they need, right? Like this Brand Creators Academy, when I launched it, I had nothing inside, nothing. I said, I want the founding members to help us shape it. And guess what? It's really, really taking shape. But when we opened, it was like, we're going to do two monthly calls. They're going to be office hours. We're going to do a deep dive once a month, looking under the hood of the brand that we're building from scratch, right? And then we're going to be inside the Facebook group to answer questions. Well, we've done all that, but now we just did something. And actually I did it just on the fly and I wanted to see how it would work. And People were submitting their websites and saying, hey, I posted here. Can someone, you know, look at my blog post? Tell me if you like it. Tell me if there's things I could do differently. Then someone else would, would do that. Then would, they would, you know, be going back and forth. And I go, you know what I'm going to do? There's four websites that were posted like within, I don't know, 24 hours. I said, I'm going to fire up my, my laptop and I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to talk through each one. I'm going to do a site review. And so that's what I did. So for 20 minutes... I was dissecting their websites, giving what I liked, what I didn't like, not necessarily what I didn't like, what what could be improved and all of that. And oh my gosh, like the response has been amazing. They're like, Scott, like this was so, so useful, but you being able to look at my website or, and, and, and seeing what I can do differently or other people saying, oh my gosh, it was so helpful to watch you dissect theirs. Now I want mine done. So now we're going to do that once a month or maybe more as many times as I want to do it, but I'm going to probably do at least one a month as long as people are submitting their websites. And that's the other cool thing is we're able to really dive into people's brands and businesses because we're so transparent in there. So I didn't know how this was all going to go when I decided to do Brand Creators Academy. Didn't know. But I said, you know what? I'm going to put together an MVP, minimal viable product. This is what I this is what I want to do. This is what I think will be helpful, but then I'm going to let the community tell me what they need, what they're struggling with. I didn't know about this. I knew about it, but I didn't know it was such a big deal with a lot of you listening. I didn't know that perfectionism was a big like a thing a block, like something that was that was a sticking point for you. Like I just thought, yes, yeah, some people do, but it was like very, very common throughout everyone inside of Brand Creators Academy that they were struggling with this and that's what was holding them back. So now, you know what? We got to fix that. So in this episode, I came up with three different things. Okay. Three step process is what I'm calling it. All right. I kind of put together a little outline to remind me of these things because it's really, really important. And if you do this, if you follow this, you can bust through this perfectionism or this procrastination trap, all right? And going into 2020 or 2021, whatever year it is that this thing is airing, right now it's 2020, but I know that this is going to be here in the future. And guess what? This is something that's not going to go away. There's still going to be people struggling with procrastination and perfectionism and new listeners that come in a year from now, it'll be useful to them, right? All right. So here's what I want to do. So this way here, we can overcome this, all right? And again, It's not going to happen overnight, but if you follow this process, you'll be on your way, all right? So number one, understand and accept it doesn't have to be perfect. I know that sounds so obvious. I know that sounds so simple, but you need to really, really understand and accept it. The acceptance of it is a big deal because it's just like, okay, I get it. I know this is normal. I'm going to accept it, that it's not going to be perfect. And I'm okay with that because something out there is better than nothing out there, right? We've all heard that. You can have the best product, but if you don't release it into the world, how can anyone give you any feedback? How can you even ask questions of how to make it better? You can't, you're just assuming. All right. So understand that's number one, understand and accept. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to give you two examples of this. Well, the podcast, I mentioned that before. Okay, we're going on almost six years now, which is just insane, right? It's just, that's mind blowing. It doesn't even feel like it's half that time. It feels like three years, maybe, right? But I remember thinking to myself, eh, I don't know if I want to do a podcast. I, I've tried two other podcasts. I either lost interest or I just didn't see the traction, right? So I said, you know what? I'm going to scrap it. But then there was this one, 
And I said, you know what? I think I want to do it, but I'm not quite sure. Now I had a good support partner, which is really, really important, right? And that's why in Brand Creators Academy, we have a great support network, right? But I had my wife and she was like, you know what? You need to do it. You, you just need to do it. I feel there's something here that you should probably do it. Why don't you just give it a test run? Give it like 20, 25 episodes. When most people are like, I'll give it five episodes and we'll see what happened. Mine was 20 to 25. Well, after about the third episode, I knew I was onto something. I knew something was starting to click. It was starting to resonate, right? I was starting to get that traction, okay? But here's the thing I was telling myself before I even hit record on that episode. Scott, you don't talk that well. You didn't really like school. Uh, you're not afraid to talk in front of people, but you still don't want to sound dumb, right? You say ums and you say like a lot because <laughs> you're from New York, right? I've had people that actually call me out on that. You're like, Scott, you say like a lot. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, or, you know, I say a lot or, you know, that's another one, you know, you know, it's like you want that feedback. And the other one is maybe right. You know, how after a sentence, I might be like, right. Because if I'm talking with someone, I want that feedback, right? So it's hard. See, I just said it again, right? But if I focused on that, then I would have never posted. I'd have been afraid I would look like a fool. I'd have looked like, oh my gosh, like what if someone calls me out on this? Which people have, by the way, <laughs> and it's okay. I'm okay with it now. You know, it took a little bit, but I have a lot more people saying, Scott, man, don't stop. Scott, I don't care about that stuff. I, I feel like I, you're, you're the guy next door. You know, right? that's what I want. And that's what I need to understand. I'm not going to be perfect. I am not going to satisfy like the speaker criteria. I'm just not going to. And it's okay. It's worked out pretty well. But if I never would have hit record because of all of that stuff, you wouldn't be listening to this episode right now. All the things that have happened from the podcast, all the people's lives that have been changed, all the businesses that were started wouldn't have started. That wouldn't have happened. Okay? So just keep that in mind. The other story I want to share with you is the photography story. And a lot of you that are longtime listeners, you know that my wife and I owned a photography studio for many years. It was great. And when we started that, we had no idea about photography. We had no idea. We had no formal training. All we knew is that we got our kids pictures taken and we didn't like that process. And my wife had an interest in photography, but had no training at all. None. And digital wasn't even happening at that point. It was all, you know, uh, film based. It was 35 millimeter medium format, different types like that. We had no idea what we were doing. Okay. But we said, you know what, let's just go ahead and see what happens. But if we waited until we were hundred percent happy with the the pictures that we were taking, we never would have started. Here's how we would get, here's a little side story. And you've probably heard this if you read my book or if you've listened to any of the past episodes where I talk about this, but we used to take, because it was film, we didn't have the LCD on the back. We used to take our 36 roll of film and we used to take that and bring it down to the one hour photo so we could get those pictures really quickly so we could see the result from our tests. Like we were taking our lights, our umbrella set up. We were trying to position the lighting right. We didn't want harsh shadows here. We wanted this. All of these different things that you can easily do nowadays, right? You can just take a picture and look at it or hook it up to your laptop, bring it in, check it out. We had to wait till the film came back, okay? So if we waited until we had everything perfect, we never would have started. We never would have been able to have that business, which also allowed us to be able to have the freedom and the flexibility to build our own schedule around our children, bring them you know, to and from school, like all that stuff never would have happened if we waited until we were perfect, and I'm using the air quotes, photographers, okay? So, and again, we can look back at the first pictures we've ever taken, we're like, oh boy, yeesh. I can't believe people paid us for those, but you know, we created images and they thought they were valuable because why they were their children. Maybe the lighting wasn't perfect to our eye, but to them didn't really, they looked past it. Okay. You're always going to look at your first piece of work or first post or video, and you're going to look back and cringe. It's, it's okay. It's totally okay. Because guess what? You're going to get better, but the only way that you get better is by doing you got to keep practicing. Like I said, inside of Brand Creators Academy, uh, I had Karen who posted a video who was deathly afraid of doing a video and she did one and she got it out of the way. And she's like, wow, okay, I got it done. 
You're like, bad things didn't happen, right? And it felt good. And now maybe that's the first step to where she's going to be able to get on video or maybe get out there a little bit more, okay? Who knows what that moment is going to do, okay? All right, number two, get a clear picture of what needs to be done, all right? Now, there's something that I call the 52-week challenge, and I'm going to be talking about this in an upcoming episode. This is where you map out your plan and create dates, deadlines. The 52-week challenge, that's kind of like forcing you to do something every single week for one year. 52-week challenge, all right? More on that coming. But what it is, is you're mapping out your plan, and then you're creating dates, deadlines, and then you are going to do it. You're going to show up and do it. And that's actually number three. Do it. (laughs) Take action and complete the task or job. Go through the process even if it's not perfect. Because why? Well, actions create more actions, meaning if you do something, then you get to look at the result and say, oh, I wonder about this. So you ask a question. When you ask a question, your brain has to give it an answer. And you have to either find the answer in your brain or you got to go search for the answer. All right. And then the other thing that happens when you do it, when you take action is you keep creating momentum, right? Practice makes perfect. It's like anything. If you are wanting to be a better dribbler, then you should probably dribble a lot and you should do it every day, right? If you want to be a better guitar player, you probably should practice guitar every day, right? It's, we we all know this, but we don't apply it to business a lot of times, okay? So again, let me just recap that. How do we overcome procrastination and perfectionism? Well, follow these three steps, all right? One, understand and accept it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Accept it, it's okay, all right? Number two, get a clear picture of what needs to be done. And again, force yourself in a sense by creating a map and creating dates and deadlines, and sticking to that plan, all right? And then number three, do it. Take action and complete the tasks or the jobs that you've outlined and mapped out. Show up consistently. I'm telling you, if you just commit to that for 52 weeks, you're going to be able to look back and go, wow, look at how far I've come. Look at what I've accomplished. And when you do that, you feel really, really good. And then this way here, It's going to also then build up momentum, and then you're going to learn from it. There's just so much that comes from taking action, as I've said time and time again, all right? So don't overcomplicate things, please, all right? Just get out there and make it happen and get over this hurdle of perfectionism or procrastination or both, because they're pretty much kind of the same in a sense, because we play one off of the other and it just becomes a giant mess. All right. So hopefully this has helped you. And if not, go back and listen to it again, because you need to understand that this is something you can overcome. You totally, totally can. All right, guys. So if you have any questions on this or anything else, head over to the amazing seller.com forward slash ask. I would love to hear from you. And then the other thing is one little reminder here. Once again, we're heading into 2020 right now, depending on when you're listening to this. And we are going to be opening brand creators Academy for the first time in 2020. And that's going to be January 6th. So mark your calendar. If you missed out on the last time that we opened enrollment, you're going to want to be ready. And the way that you become ready is make sure that you go to brandcreators.com, go through the free training there. This way here, you really understand this process and whether you join or not, that will get you up and running and building out your brand. So definitely make sure you get to brandcreators.com for all of that information. And then also be on the lookout for when we open the doors on January 6th. And again, we're only going to be open for a very short time. And then we're going to be closing enrollment and working with our brand creators on a regular basis until we open again in a few months later. All right, so that's it. That's going to wrap it up. As always, remember, I'm here for you. I believe in you and I am rooting for you, but you have to, you have to, come on, say it with me, say it loud, say it proud, take 
action. Have an awesome, amazing day, and I'll see you right back here on the next episode. Oh, hey guys, before you go, I wanted to ask a quick favor. If you have not yet left a review for us on iTunes, if you could do that, that would be amazing. I read every single one of them, even the one stars. And yes, they're going to be there. You can't make everyone happy. I understand. But if you've gotten any kind of value from this podcast, it really helps me to get fired up to see what this podcast is doing for you. And it also helps us reach more people by you leaving a review on iTunes. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. And while you're there, if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, do that as well. This way here, you'll never miss an upcoming episode. All right. So if you can do that, that'd be amazing. Talk to you later. Bye.